Hey everybody, it's JJ here, bringing you a video of Under the Ocean. This game is a survival game. You play as this blue dude who was recently on a shipwreck, and you essentially have to survive. So here we are on this shipwreck, or off the shipwreck. We got this makeshift raft that we're on. And uh, we're going to make our way to land, like so. So we have a hammer here. We're going to put that. I'm not sure where all those came from. Oh, I'm underwater. So anyways, we're on the. We were on a makeshift raft, now we're on this island. We have an assortment of. What does that do? Oh, chimney. Okay, apparently I have a chimney. Anyhow. So we have an assortment of things here in front of us. Um, some driftwood, we can add things to that. And then we have these three crates. So with this little blue dude, we're on an island and we just need to survive. We need to get shelter, we need to get food, we need to get water, and all sorts of things. So I'm going to use this axe that I have here, that I picked up from things here, and what you do is you simply just left click on it. Um, your inventory space can either be very, like not enough room for anything, or extremely compact, depending on how you do it, how you uh, put things up here, because as long as there's room, it'll fit, and you can rotate things with E and Q to try and get them in there. See, When it doesn't fit, it'll just fall to the ground. When it does fit, you'll notice that it's up there. So click on something, use it, and we're going to smash these crates. I've got some, got some damaged bandages, because I accidentally hit it. We've got, uh, we got some bullets that we can fill in for the rifle. We've got uh, another rifle here. I don't know why I have two, but I do. Oh, those things that just exploded. What do we have here? We have a firecracker. And was there something else that dropped? A spearhead. Now right, we're going to move into the second area here. We got some trees and some more driftwood and things. Move that to the side. So if you hit space, um, you're kind of in the editor, I guess you could say. You can um, easily move things around without having much issue on like unless like, unlike when you're out of it where you can notice that this kind of has some weight to it but also as you can move it through things but if you again if you have it off you'll notice how the trees bend very easily so in the editor we're going to take uh, the driftwood and we're going to add a sharp rock or a spearhead to the end of it to this end of it and now we have a spear just like that so we can use that to catch fish. Now I'm going to go back into uh, the game here, and I'm going to cut down this tree. I'm going to move it to the side here, and I'm going to get a saw. Now, if you hover the saw over, you can notice that it, you notice that it says "craft" um, down there. Once the when you have "craft" turn green. You let go, and then you have planks. And I can again store these planks up here, make it as compact as possible. You can press space, so you can move it in there easier. Last one. There we go. Hopefully that. Okay, yeah. So, oh, as you notice now, it's dark. And you can see there in the bottom right-hand corner, there's like status updates. Right now, I am chilly. So, I'm gonna, in order to fix that, well, you're gonna need a fire. In order to get a fire, you're gonna need to find a flint. That is floating in midair. Oh well, it's fine. I'm just going to put the last few things up here. 
can always come back to the area if you don't have enough room in your inventory to get uh, to get more things. So we're gonna need the saw. We already have a saw. I'm pretty sure things break the more you use it. So if you have double of things, it'll it'll work out much better. So we have another saw there. We'll just leave that here for now. We have a crate here. We're gonna cut open the crate or smash it open. And nothing seems to have dropped. So let's grab this crate. Go away. Now we're gonna break open this. And nothing dropped from this either. You can hold down Alt and it kinda shows you the names of everything that is surrounding you. Oh, so, so you hear, see right here we have flint. So now we can make a fire. So we will store this just anywhere. And um we can collect some of these crate pieces here. If you're in space, you can attach them together. Uh, we're going to throw just a bunch together and we're going to use this as firewood. And store it somewhere here. There we go. And make our way into this cave here. There's a load of blocks. You can open up the recipes tab to your left of the screen and you can look at uh, an assortment of different things to uh, to like to build things. You know. So three planks together would make a door which you can click and it will open. Um, three chi branches make a thatching which is kind of roofing I guess you could say. Um, you cut down a tree with a saw, you get a bunch of big planks. Cut down a smaller tree with a saw, you get a bunch of small planks. Um, three small rocks equal one of these. You can cut, uh, you can cut one of these with a saw to get smaller planks. Two small planks, you get a window. You can make beds, a sail, corner pieces. Lots of different things. So I can add three of these together to make a fireplace, which I should do. So if we go take one, whoa, that one just got huge. What did I just do? That was weird. Okay. Anyhow, I'm going to take three of these, attach them together, take the hammer. Hover over, boom, you got a fireplace base. What did I say? Convenient place to burn wood. Okay, I'll do that. Since I already accidentally made a chimney, I'm going to make... I'm just going to make a chimney top, I guess, for now, until I get enough room for a proper chimney. Oh, can't move that there. There, there we go. And put the hammer back here. There we are. So we have a a bucket here now. We can use this bucket to drink water for thirsty. And we can fill it up just like that. So now we have a big a thing full of water. And if you tip it over, it dumps it out. Which I think is really, really nice. It's little things that count. Nope. Nope. Uh, and it just fell over. Okay, let's try that again. Put that in here. And we're going to attempt to find a place there for it. There we are. And now we have a worm right here, which we can eat, or we can toss it in the water like that, to lure some fish towards it, which we can then spear. And there we are. We have a fish now. So we can right click it and that'll um, remove it, but uh, I still haven't figured out how to, oh, I just made a giant spear. Uh, oh, I'm attaching that to the warm and it makes it, or that glow warm thing and it makes it massive in size. 
Anyhow, as I was saying, I haven't been able to figure out how to like cut open fish or whatever, because I, I saw a video of somebody doing that, but uh, I didn't know how, so, but you can do that for food, and you can cook it on the fire. We got some yarrow, which we can use to heal ourselves, or make a bed, which uh, we saw in the thing. Got uh, some tree branches, some more flint, which is always useful. Since you can only use flint once. And we're out of the cave. So we got a nice. Oh, we got a chicken here. That just ran away. What is that? Sore foot hungry player. Okay. So we got a nice little flat area here we can use to make a amazing looking house which is not going to be amazing at all because I'm a terrible builder. Take the saw, craft those to smaller pieces which I don't think I should have done but well I did it anyways and I'm going to go ahead and make the house. So hold down space and we can just simply go like this attach them together which will create a base for the house like that as you can see they they, look like they tied together or whatever and we're gonna oh try not to put that inside of myself no we'll do this part first craft it back. I'm going to save the left side for a door, which I probably should have done with that side as well. Oh wait, it's too late now. I don't care. It's fine. Move these pieces down. So we're going to add two of these side by side and then craft them. Or what, what was it? It was three of these, wasn't it? Yeah, it was three. Three of these side by side. Craft it with a hammer make a door, place the door there, and now we have a door. And then we can just add the finishing touches to it, a saw, and then the last piece. There. It's a perfect house. Okay. Um, yeah, grab that piece. And now the cool thing that we can do is we can make make things on different layers. So this would be further back in the background. This would be in front of everything. So if we take this and we can place it, say like, and we can just place it right here, and then we press space, you notice that we can go behind it, it kind of disappears like that. So we can do that with the rest of the pieces and make a thing out, I'm not going to go into that too much, but uh, that's that, and this thing just flipped out of nowhere. Yeah, so that's the basics of this game. Um, if you want me to continue, just simply um, put a comment in the description, or not description, <laughs> leave a comment, there we go. And uh, yeah, so that's Under the Ocean. Um, thanks for watching, guys, and as always, don't hate, appreciate.